coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. Drug overdoses are in the headlines on a regular basis, from fentanyl to other opioids. And here in Saskatchewan, the province is providing $50,000 this year to fund take-home naloxone program kits. Over the past several months, Innovation Credit Union has been discussing the opportunity of becoming a national financial institution while holding on to its local roots and values. The countdown to Christmas is on, and as children on your gift list are asking for computers and other gadgets, Sask in Motion has released its annual Active Toy Guide, filled with a range of ideas to get the whole family active throughout the winter season. Thanks for joining us here today. With opiate overdoses on the rise across the country, Saskatchewan Health has unveiled a new program. Drug overdoses are in the headlines on a regular basis, from fentanyl to other opioids. And here in Saskatchewan, the province is providing $50,000 this year to fund take-home naloxone program kits as part of a harm reduction strategy. The initiative is now in effect, with the Cypress Health region one of several areas in the province participating. So the education helps with uh, teaching people how to prevent overdose as well as recognize an overdose and then how to respond to one, which is where the kits come involved so that you teach someone how to administer the naloxone, also known as Narcan, the medication that reverses the effects of the opioids on the body. Some examples would be morphine, hydromorph, fentanyl, carfentanyl, heroin, codeine, oxycodone. The naloxone kits are free of charge across the province to high-risk individuals and include the following items. So in the kit, uh, we contain two pairs of gloves as well as a breathing mask for protection of whoever has to um, maybe administer the medication as well as give rescue breaths to the client that may be experiencing the overdose. It contains um, enough medication to give two doses of Narcan as well as two syringes and some alcohol swabs and a little pamphlet that goes through the steps that you would be taught in the education. And with this new provincial program in place, Maxner goes on to stress that the naloxone kits are meant only as an educational tool and not to promote overall drug use. But it's to keep our clients alive so that when they are ready and in that what we call action phase and ready to make a change, that they're alive to access our services. So the point is, is to keep them alive to the point that they're ready to make that change, but you know, I can't help a client that's not here. The take-home naloxone program kits are available across the province through local health offices and can be acquired here in the Southwest by calling the Mental Health and Addiction Centralized Intake. We know in, in the work we do with BirdLife that unless you consult local people, unless you work with them, you will fail. Members will be voting on the future direction of Innovation Credit Union. We have more in this report. Over the past several months, Innovation Credit Union has been discussing the opportunity of becoming a national financial institution while holding on to its local roots and values. In order to move forward on a national designation by 2020, innovation requires the support of its members. This will transpire through membership voting between November 22nd and December the 8th. Dan Johnson is the CEO for Innovation and explains the overall process. The magic number is uh, set out by law and it has to be 75% plus one of those who come out to vote need to vote yes in order for us to move to the next phase. It doesn't mean we instantly become federally uh, regulated, but it means that we can go to the next phase. The, the membership has provided their direction. But we want to go beyond just that. We want to look for our, what we call our representative vote. We're looking for a whole bunch of our members to come out because typically at our meetings, our annual meetings, we only get one to two percent and we're looking for a whole bunch more because we, we think this is a very important uh, juncture in our organization. We need to have our membership in, informed and involved in the decision. And if the membership votes in favor of becoming a national entity, the benefits would fall in line with the changing world of banking and technology. We, we have to understand our organization. Should we be just a regional player or should be we focused on our, our traditional region with the flexibility to grow beyond and that's really what we're trying to to achieve and we believe it'll help us better uh, better deal with some of this disruption better deal with the competition better deal with those demographics that uh, that are happening 
and then and then embracing technology versus trying to find ways not to um, to embrace it. So we, we believe it just gives us a better foundation to ensure this organization is around for future generations. Once the membership has spoken and a resounding approval rate is in place to proceed, Innovation Credit Union would then move on to the next phase, which includes more approval from various provincial and federal departments before being fully designated in 2020. Innovation Credit Union currently operates 23 branches from Frontier to Buffalo Narrows. For over 12 years, Southwest TV News has provided the visuals for the defining moments in our community. Support your community and help us to continue our work. Support our sponsors by watching the ads on YouTube and by clicking the ads on our website. Pennies per click, which will help us continue to bring you the award-winning news coverage you've come to expect from Southwest TV News. Helping to keep kids active is the focus of Sask in Motion, and it's released its annual Active Toy Guide. The countdown to Christmas is on, and as children on your gift list are asking for computers and other gadgets, Sask in Motion has released its annual Active Toy Guide, filled with a range of ideas to get the whole family active throughout the winter season. I believe the Toy Guide's been around for three years now, and uh, it's a virtual catalog overflowing with great gift ideas. The, the guide really can be used year-round, not just at Christmas, as a source of active gift ideas. And, you know, making sure that kids have active toys and gear will greatly increase the chances that they will be active. Incentives to incorporate more physical activity as stats continue to show the sedentary lifestyle that many youth lead today. What we know is that on average kids are spending seven to eight hours a day on screen. So that's a lot of time and screen time is actually one of the biggest barriers to getting kids active these days. But we think there's really an easy solution and that is that if kids get 30 minutes of physical activity at home, 30 minutes at school and 30 minutes in the community. They're getting their 60 to 90 minutes of physical activity most days. Active gift ideas can be found online at saskatchewaninmotion.ca. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at southwesttvnews.com. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.